Welcome to EDU Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will see transformation formulas of trigonometric ratio. That is, how can we transfer the product into sum or difference, or how, we can, how can we transfer the sum or difference into product. Firstly, we will see formulas to transfer the product into sum or difference. As we know that sine a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin a. Let this equation be first. And sin a minus b is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. This equation is second. Cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. This the equation third and uh, cos a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a and sin b. Now performing some addition and subtraction on this equation, we formulate some formulas by adding equation first and second. Adding equation first and second, we get 2 sin a cos b is equal to sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. That is, if, uh, this will be cancelled out. Addition of these two will be 2 sin a cos b and this will be this plus this. If we, if we sub, no, second operation, Se subtracting equation second from first, we get 2 cos a sin b is equal to sin a plus b minus sin a minus b. That is common will be cancelled out and this this is the process. This is this equation. Again, adding equation third and fourth, we get two cos a cos b is equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. This is present. Now, subtracting equation third from fourth, we get 2 sin a sin b is equal to cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. Equation, equation representing fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth are the new formulas. That is the transformation of product into the sum of the product. This is the uh, product of two trigonometric ratios and this can be converted into sum of two trigonometric ratios. This one, this one, this one. This formulas can be derived by performing addition and subtraction on these four equations as we have seen here. Let's see some questions based on this formula. First one is 2 sin 5 theta cos theta. We have to transform this product into the sum of two trigonometric functions that is in the term of sin theta plus cos theta. So what we will do? As we know that 2 sin uh, 2 sin a cos b is equal to sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. Applying this formula over here, we will get 2 sin 5 theta cos theta will be equal to sin. Here a is 5, that is 5 theta, b is theta. So 5 theta plus sin, here a is 5 theta and b is theta. 
So we get sine 6 theta plus sine 4 theta. This is the required answer. So similarly, we can convert these products into uh, sum or difference of two trigonometric functions. Let us see one more part using that. Second part says that we have to convert sine 75 degree cos 15 degree. This product we have to convert into sine A plus sine B in the sum. So here first we have first we have to bring two. How can we bring two? By multiplying and dividing by two to this equation. So this will become 2 sine 75 degree cos 15 degree. We multiply and divide by 2 because we have to convert this form into by uh, to use this formula. So we uh, but for using this formula we need to so we multiply by 2 and divide by 2. So we get this. Now applying the same formula which we apply above that is sine. Here A is 75 at 75 theta and B is 15 theta plus sine here A is 75 theta and B is 15 theta. So this will be come out is equal to 1 by 2. This will be sine 90 theta plus sine 60 degree or 60 sorry this is no theta. This is degree. I am mistaken. This is no theta. This is degree. 15 degree. This is the angles, no? So this is a degree. So 60 degree and 90 degree. As we know that sine 90 degree is equal to 1 and sine 60 is equal to root 3 by 2. If we have to evaluate this equation. This is the required answer. This one. If we have to find out the value, then we can put up the values of these function. Let's say sine 90 is equal to 1 and sine 60 is equal to root 3 by 2. Okay. If in question, if, if we have to know the value, then we will do this step. Otherwise, this step is the required answer. So, in this way, we can solve other questions also. To solve this type of quotient, first we have to change the quotient in the format this. That is 2 into something A, uh, that is sin A cos B or cos A sin B into this form. Then we can apply the above formulas and solve the quotients. Next we will see how we, we can convert some more difference of trigonometric ratios in the product form. As we have seen earlier that 2 sin A cos cos b is equal to sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. Similarly, 2 cos a sin b is equal to sin a plus b minus sin a minus b. 2 cos b cos b cos A is equal to cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. And one more. 2 sin A sin B is equal to cos A minus B minus cos A plus B. To get the formulas of sum of difference into product, substitute A plus B is equal to C and a minus b is equal to b. So we get a is equal to c plus by uh, c plus d by 2 by uh, adding these both equations and b is equal to c minus b by 2 by subtracting these two equations. So replacing these values of a and b in above equation we get the desired formula that is sine c plus sin b will be equal to 2 sin c plus b by 2 cos c minus b by 2. Similarly, sin c minus sin b will be equal to 2 cos will come forward. Cos, cos 
प्लस डी बाई टू साइन सी माइनस डी बाई टू कोस सी प्लस कोस सी इज इक्वल टू टू कोस सी प्लस डी बाय टू कोस सी माइनस डी बाय टू एंड कोस सी माइनस कोस सी इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू साइन C plus B over two times C minus B over two. Okay, these are the formula. It, it's very simple to learn. Here only just we have to put in place of A plus B that is C and in place of A minus B D. So they are both come. Sine C plus sine D is equal to two. Two sine A is equal to what? C plus B by two replace C plus B C by two. B is what C minus D by two replaced over there C minus D by two. Similarly, by replacing in all these four equations, we get these four new formulas. By applying this formula, we can solve our questions. Now let's see how to solve the question based on this formula. First part, first question is this: sine four theta plus sine two theta. The sum of two these functions, two trigonometric functions. We have to convert the sum of two trigonometric function into the product of trigonometric function by using. As we know that sine a plus sine b is equal to or sine c plus sine d is equal to two sine c plus d by two cos c minus d by two. So applying this formula over here, we get here. C is four theta and D is two theta. So apply it over here. Two sine. This will be four theta plus two theta over two. And this will be four four theta minus two theta over two. What we get? Two sine three theta. That is six theta over two is three theta. Four two theta over two is theta. This is the required answer. As we have converted the sum of two trigonometric ratios into the product of two trigonometric ratios. Let's see one more question. In this question, it is given that sine a plus sine b over cos a plus cos b. This is the sum of two trigonometric functions, and we have to convert the product. That is tan a plus b by two. So taking left hand side, we will get sine a plus sine b over cos a plus cos b is equal to. Applying the formula of sine a plus sine b in the numerator, that is, we will get two sine a plus b by two cos a minus b by two. Because we know that sine c plus sine d is equal to sine c plus b by two cos c minus b by two. Similarly, in the numerator, apply the formula of cos a plus cos b, that is, two cos c plus d by two. Into cos c minus d by two. Oh, sorry. Here c is a and d is b. C is a and d is b. So cos a minus b by two and cos a minus b by two cancel out in the numerator and denominator. So we get and two by two to two cancel out here. So we get sine a plus b by two. Over cos a plus b by two, which is as we know that sine a upon cos a is equal to tan a, so this will be tan a plus b by two because sine a upon cos a is equal to tan. Similarly, we can do other questions also.